The Pine Foam Pro has been making some strides recently. Uh, I've been keeping up with some of the stuff going on on Reddit. Uh, apparently some of the power management issues are being resolved. It still doesn't look like there's a device driver for the camera in the kernel yet. Um, but the steady march of progress is ongoing and I've seen this idea of replacing the U-boot with toe boot or tau boot. Uh, pop up on Reddit a couple times and most recently from this user Egao Cage uh, on my YouTube channel recommended following the same thing. So this is going to be kind of just a stream of conscious project right now for you guys to just follow along. I'm going to try to get this working on my Pine Phone Pro. Uh, so this is a process I haven't done yet. This isn't really a tutorial. This is just kind of uh, some workflow. So I'm over here on Toe Boot. Uh, on the Pine Phone Pro, you can see it right here. Uh, and I've got the instructions in front of me, so I'm going to try to get that going right now. All right, by installing Tobu to SPI, your Pine Phone 64 will be able to start using standards based booting without conflicting with the operating system storage. Okay, cool. To do so, you will need to write the SPI installer image to a suitable SD card. Okay, well, I should have a suitable SD card currently in my Pine Phone Pro. So let's go ahead and pop that off. We'll pull this guy out. All right. And SD card adapter. Let's get that plugged in. Cool. All right. So I'm going to need to write the SBI. Okay, do I need to download? this first. Where are the downloads? Let's check in releases. And we're looking for Pine Phone Pro. Looks like it's this guy right here. Pine Phone Pro. Let's go ahead and download that. Okay. All right. Let's extract that. And this looks like what I'm looking for, this SPI installer. Is that correct? Yeah. All right. So let's open up a terminal and we'll open up a terminal here. Okay. All right. So let's see what our SD card is called. And it looks like my disk is here, MMC BLAK0. All right. Let's go ahead and copy that. We need to replace, okay, that's correct. We need to replace the disk. With MMC BLK zero. Oops. Probably helps if I do that with pseudo privileges. Apparently that's all I had to do. Okay, step two. Once done, power off your Pine Phone Pro, remove its battery and insert the SD card, put the battery back and power it on. Remember, at this point, you should be holding the RE button until the phone vibrates to the LED red. Okay. Make sure you're holding the RE before pressing power on. I'm not sure what the RE button is. I think this is the little back button here. I think this is the RE button. Okay. So I'm going to need something to get in there, like a little pin. 
Okay, I'm back here. I got a little pin. So we need to take the SD card out. We have to get it inserted here. There we go. It says remove the battery. I'm not sure if that's necessary, but you know, we'll just do what they say. Battery out, SD card in, battery back in. Okie doke. Um, so you should be holding the RE button until the phone vibrates. So we're going to hold the RE button and then we're going to power on. We're going to hold until red turns on. I think that's the volume rocker. This should be the uh, power button. Okay, red. Release that. Turns yellow, okay. Later we'll, display will turn on with a blue color. Cool, so here's the GUI. Hopefully you guys can see that, okay, cool. Um, now what do we do? A few moments later, okay. In the installer, select install tow boot to SPI. All right, that's this guy right here. It is not necessary to erase the storage before installing. Erase the storage can be used to uninstall tow boot. Once installed, remove the installation media and verify tow boot starts from power on. Okay, so start installation. And you guys can see progress going there. It looks like installation completed successfully. You can power off the Pine 64 and remove the installation media. So let's go ahead and do that. Power it off. Oh, well, there we go. Remove the installation media. So I'm gonna come over here, pop my little SD card back out and see if we can boot this back on. And it's booting into, looks like Manjaro Fosh was the last operating system I had here. And it looks like it was successful. Cool, so I'm gonna go ahead and power that back off. You know what, just to be safe, we'll just pop the battery out. Now I know it's off. Okay. So we're not installing to shared storage. We can skip that part. Device specific notes. There is no display output for this device. Okay. Additional features. The phone can be started in USB mass storage mode by holding the volume up button at startup before and during the second vibration. The LED will turn blue if done successfully. In this mode, the phone will work like a USB drive when connected to a host computer. That's actually really a great feature because now ostensibly you should be able to flash ISO directly into the EMMC without having to use another application or some sort of like disk recovery tool within the operating system itself. Uh, so I'll go ahead and give that a try in a little bit. Booting an operation, operating system from SD card will require holding the volume down button before and during the second vibration. Cool, so it looks like this defaults to EMMC. And then to boot into um, your SD card, you have to hold volume down, which is nice because I think in U-Boot, it would default to, on the Explorer edition, it would default to um, flash storage or, or the SD card, and you would have to do something else to get it to boot into EMMC. So let's go ahead and come to Pine Phone releases. Let 
and let's get an operating system. I've been reading that a lot of people have been having a lot of luck with Arch. Um, and I haven't used Arch yet. So let's go ahead and try Arch. I'm assuming that this release is for PinePhone Pro. Yeah, PinePhone Pro, and I'm partial to Fosh. So let's go ahead and give that a download. Okay, looks like our ISO is finished downloading. Let's come over here to Downloads. Got our ISO right here, or our image file. And now we're gonna go ahead and try booting into USB mass storage. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the backplate back on my phone. I don't think I need access to the SD card any longer. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna plug it in. It's currently plugged into my computer. Oops, shoot. I forgot when you plug it in, it, uh, it just turns the phone on. So it looks like that problem hasn't been fixed yet. We'll let that go through its boot cycle. And I'll just go ahead and turn this off. Probably not best practice to shut it off during boot, so we'll wait a second until it boots. There. Okay. So back plate back on. So in order to go into USB storage, you have to hold volume up. So I've got volume up held, we're going to plug it in, and it says it needs to go through the first vibration, which was there, and then during the second vibration. Okay, there's the second vibration, the light has turned blue, if you can see that, and it looks like on my screen we do in fact see my storage. Great. So let's come back over here to downloads and open this with disk writer and see if we can select, there it is, Linux phone and start restoring. Got to put my password in. And that'll probably take a good second. A good 12 minutes worth of seconds. So I'll meet you back here when this is done flashing. Okay, so looks like we successfully flashed the Arch Linux image onto the PinePhone. So I'm going to go ahead and power this off just by holding the power button. Let's see if that takes care of business. Okay. And it looks like it immediately tried to reboot because I was still plugged in. Although that red light is, oh, there we go. All right, not sure if I'm on or off. Oh, okay, well, there we go. Looks like it's trying to boot. Going through some sort of boot run here. This is all looking good, hopefully. Again, I've never run the Arch image for PinePhone Pro. Uh, so hopefully everything is working as intended. And it appears to be working. Let's see if we can swipe up. And we're in. All right, so successfully installed Toboot onto the PinePhone Pro, and then successfully flashed right onto the EMMC, uh, the Arch Linux ISO. 
So I'm going to go ahead and play around with this for a little bit um, and do a follow up video on some of the improvements or lack thereof that I've seen with Toe Boot and the uh, most recent Arch Foss, Fosh ISO. All right, thanks guys for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next video.